Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Spider-Man Stealth Suit version, and we're going to look at his synergies and his abilities, and we're going to talk a little bit about the utility that he has. Now, I got this guy a while back and wasn't really all that excited. And then I started seeing videos where people took him to rank five and people were asking me, are you planning to take him to rank five? And I'm like, well, why? And I saw some of these videos and he's got some pretty solid utility. So first, let's take a look real briefly at his attributes. He's only a rank three. You can see the champion tags that he has. He is a Spider-Verse champion. So Venom will shut him down as far as his evades go. And you can see his block proficiency is low, but he does have a little evade. Um, his crit damage rating is high. Crit rating is pretty good. All right. And let's take a look here at his synergies. Now, he has some interesting synergies. This first one is with Iron Man Infinity War. Uh, the slowed opponents. So we'll talk about his slow debuff. But slowed opponents are opponents that have the slow debuff on them. Also have ability accuracy of shock and incinerate effects reduced by 100%. So this will be useful if you're going up against someone that does a lot of shock and incinerate damage uh, procs on their hits, anything like that. This is going to reduce their chance. And... Uh, 100% does not necessarily mean they will never do it. It's the way Kabam does things. It's reduced by 100%, but you may have things that increase their chance by over 100%. So that means they'll still have a percent chance to do it. All right, next up, Spider-Man Men in Black. This one is with uh, Miles Morales and Symbiote Spidey. Uh, Spider-Man Stealth Suit has 100% evade ability accuracy against unblockable attacks while the opponent has a vulnerability buff. So they have to have a vulnerability debuff. Sorry, I said buff. Um, they'll have to have a vulnerability debuff in order for him to get this boost to his evade ability accuracy. Next one up is with Vulture. Uh, striking an innervated opponent and we'll talk about that as well, deals 10% of the damage dealt as energy damage. Now, more damage is goodness, but are you going to bring Vulture along for this? Eh, maybe. We'll see. And finally, we've got Electro. Uh, increases the potency of Fury and Precision effects that trigger while Spider-Sense is active by 50%, 15%. So... You have to be under the effect of spider sense. Then you have to trigger fury and precision or precision. And then you will get 15% more potency. I'll leave you guys to decide whether you want to bring electro along for that D uh, for this synergy. All right, let's take a look at his abilities here. So his signature ability increases the potency of Fury passives. That means more damage. Bottom line, more damage. Uh, so the higher the SIG level, the more damage the Furies will grant him. Does he need to be awakened? Not really. Uh, he does decent damage already. And that 15% that you see there, you know, rounded up, it's not going to add a whole lot, uh, but the more, the better. All right, let's take a look at his passives. So he gains critical rating when he's fighting a Sinister, uh, sinister Six and Symbiote Champion. He's going to crit more against them. Uh, when a web cartridge debuff is replaced, gain a Fury passive which increases his attack rating for 25 seconds. You're going to see that in the gameplay. Uh, anytime I switch to a different web cartridge, which you do, I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, 
you will see the Fury passive. So the signature ability is going to increase the potency of that. You saw a synergy that also does the same. Uh, Spider-Man uses his web shooters at point blank range for some of his basic attacks. These do not make contact. So if you're going up against someone that does damage like Korg on contact, this can reduce it a little bit because it's not going to be all of his basic attacks, just some. Okay. To move on now this spider sense i was going to talk about that uh he starts the fight with the charge and it grants him a 70 percent chance to evade incoming basic attacks that's not specials that's just all attacks basic attacks and this messed me up when he first came out and before i got a little word from someone on my stream I thought he evaded like OG Spider-Man, but what was happening is he would evade in the beginning and then he would fire a special, more on that a little bit later, which would give him another charge and then he would evade. And so I started thinking, oh man, he's just evading like crazy, but he actually wasn't. All right. When Spider-Man evades an attack, the spider sense goes on cooldown for 25 seconds. I wish I had known that. So that means once he evades that one time, you can go all in for 25 seconds and not have to worry about it. Uh, dodging or evading incoming hits, it pauses Fury and Precision passives for 3.5 seconds. So you're evading and your Fury is not going to be reduced while you're evading. So you're going to get the full amount of time on that Fury. At least that's my understanding of it. All right, now he has a pre-fight ability. He can activate, you know, change cartridges before a fight. He has one persistent charge and he can load tranquilizer, web foam, or flashbang cartridges. And only one of those can be loaded at a time. And we'll talk about each one of those and what they do in a moment. Uh, Spider-Man starts the fight with five charges Okay, that's not the persistent charge. That's five charges of his loaded web cartridge. If no cartridge type is loaded, it'll be flashbang by default. Uh, he expends web cartridge charges, which inflict debuffs. One of those, tranquilizer, web foam, or flashbang, uh, when striking with a light attack or special attack too. All right, so... Um, and it's a light attack four. So what you're going to see in the gameplay, I'll do a medium, light, light, light. And that's when it's going to expend the cartridge. All right. And that will, of course, switch the cartridge when I do it twice. And I'll gain a fury. You'll see that as well. All right. And at the start of the fight, you're going to gain back one persistent charge if it was spent. All right, so here's more on those debuffs. Tranquilizer is going to put an Innervate. Innervate prevents them from gaining power. Okay, it's going to be for 3.75 seconds. And remember, you have five charges. So that can help in a fight where you need to control the power. 100% uh, chance with the web foam uh, to inflict a slow debuff. This is great against people that gain unstoppable and evade. Basically, it shuts them down for 12 seconds. All right. Opponents with a natural class advantage cannot be slowed. So that means you don't want to have the class disadvantage against someone who goes unstoppable, unstoppable or evades because it won't work. Okay. Uh, additionally, while the opponent is slowed, Spider-Man cannot miss. That can be useful. And the flashbang, that's the one uh, that by default, see up here, default, uh, it's going to inflict a vulnerability debuff. And that's going to increase your critical damage and decrease their block proficiency for 12 seconds. All right. Now, for the special attacks, here's what each of the special attacks do. Uh, your spider sense with special attack one. It's going to reactivate it. If it's not on cooldown, you're going to gain a precision passive, 
which increases your critical rating for 20 seconds. So right after your special one attack, if your spider sense is not on cooldown, you're gonna start critting a lot more. Special attack two, the last two hits of this attack expend a web cartridge. Remember what happens when he changes cartridges, but it expends a web cartridge of which you have five to inflict a web cartridge debuff. Now these debuffs have 250% duration. So you can expend a web cartridge with the other attack, the light attack, I believe, but you'll get the normal duration. If you expend it with the special two attack, it's gonna have 250% longer duration. Uh, the duration increases, or the duration increase lasts until a web cartridge debuff expires. Uh, the um, debuffs that are not replaced do not count as having expired. So you're not gonna get a permanent 250% increase to all debuffs. It's only gonna last until that particular debuff expires. All right, and last but not least, special attack three, reset. So all those uh, web cartridge charges, you just need to build up to a special three, fire it off, and it's back to business, okay? So he's got a lot of utility. So let's take a look at a little bit of gameplay, and afterwards, I'll talk a bit more about Stealth Suit, uh, Stealth Suit Spidey, all right? So for this test, we're going to fight Juggernaut in Realm of Legends instead of Winter Soldier, because as you know, Juggernaut gets unstoppable. This fight can be very, very annoying, but I'm going to hopefully show you that Spider-Man Stealth Suit can handle unstoppable very, very well. All right, so here you're seeing the pre-fight ability. We've decided to activate the web foam. That's the one for dealing with unstoppable, as well as evaders, but Juggernaut's not gonna evade. So during this fight, here's what you're gonna see. You're gonna see me building up to specials, mainly the uh, special two, and that special two is going to give me an extra duration on my web cartridge debuff and you'll see how that allows me to build up to a special three when i need to in order to reset everything all right so right there i fired off the special two and you can see that he has the debuff on him and he's not going to be able to go unstoppable at this point now, of course, in Realm of Legends, they do not have a special three, so I don't have to worry about that. All right, and I don't have any more charges at this point. All right, so you see I fired off a special two, but nothing has happened because I don't have any charges left. And so my debuff is gonna run out right now. So now he can gain Unstoppable. I'm still getting used to fighting with Stealth Suit Spidey. So what I did here is what you don't want to do if you want to control the fight uh, and keep them from going unstoppable or uh, evading. So at this point, the only thing that I can do is build to a special three and then reset the web cartridges or reload them, however you want to say it. All right, so Here's the special three, and I want you to take note of the icons up at the top. You'll see that my charges have reset. There, I've got five down, all right? And he's unstoppable because I don't have a debuff on him. So here we go. There, now he has the debuff. I went ahead and ended with a light attack, that fourth light attack that you uh, saw me read from his abilities so at this point we want to try to maintain that uh, ability so see it it wore out and right when it wore out the <clears throat> the debuff I went ahead and fired off the special two which applied another debuff but a longer one 
and you'll see that I have one charge left and it's ticking down so right now I'm going to avoid ending in a light attack avoid doing a fourth light attack and I'm gonna build up to that special two all right I'm gonna get there right here fire that special two off and now I have that debuff and you see he fired his special no unstoppable so look at this all right and at this point if I want to uh, do anything further and, and maintain uh, control of the fight I have to build up to a special three and then fire that off so that I have more charges you can see here it's about to end but I'm going to fire that special three off immediately I'm not gonna wait because it's running out so I want to have more charges and what I'll be able to do at this point here see no unstoppable now the debuff is gone but I went ahead and fired off a light attack so I got another debuff so he's still under control so that's basically what you want to do if you need to shut down uh, unstoppable or somebody who is a evader you select the web foam from the pre-fight ability fire off that special one to get things under control initially and then you want to maintain it by firing off a special two and then working your way up to a special three reset the cartridges and do it all over again you have five you can keep doing uh, special twos or you can keep doing light attacks but if you keep doing the light attack method it's not going to last long enough all right so here we're almost done with juggernaut here and you'll notice the health uh more on that in a moment here once the fight is under control or ended and there we go all right so that was stealth suit spidey so let's break the fight down a little bit here. Now, in the beginning, I made a mistake. In order to shut down the abilities completely for the entire fight, you have to have a particular rotation. You'll notice that in the beginning, I messed up and allowed the debuff to wear out. All right, but after that, I showed you the proper rotation. The key is that special two that has the extra duration because that's going to allow you to do a lot more. It's going to allow you to build up to a special three and maintain that debuff for the entire fight without having it drop off. All right. Now, I mentioned his health. I run suicides. That means recoil damage is going to cause damage anytime I fire off a special one or two attack. Well, as you notice, Stealth Suit Spidey relies on that. His utility requires you to fire off those specials frequently. Now, you don't have to, but by not doing that, you are decreasing his usefulness. You're going to end up having to deal with whatever you're trying to shut down because the debuffs on the special one or the light attack are not going to last long enough. All right? But... Overall, I see why Stealth Suit Spidey is used and why a couple of other YouTubers ranked him up to five and took him in. Against the champion boss, I could see where he would be very useful. And hopefully you can see that as well. Completely shut down Unstoppable for the entire fight. That is huge. Anyway, that's going to do it, guys, for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to give me that like. It really helps me out. Uh, if you have not subscribed to me already, feel free to give me a subscription. Leave a comment below. If you want to see a fight that I can make happen, leave a comment below and I'll take Stealth Suit Spidey into that fight and make a video on it for you. All right, so take care and you all have a blessed day.